Okay, so you've decided to find out more about how you can improve your communication style. And in this video, we're going to focus on storytelling. Now, storytelling is so important because as soon as you start a story, people become engaged. And also, they need closure. As soon as you start a story and they're listening, then they're going to want to find out the end of that story. Now, I was down the pub recently with one of my friends, and he started telling me a story, a very funny story, about what happened to him two weeks ago. And then, he got interrupted by a phone call, and he had to make an emergency exit. Now, as he left, I realised that I didn't hear the end of that story, and it immediately started bugging me. I had to call him up and email him and say, look, what was the end of that story? And it's because you're instantly involved in a story, and you need to find out what the end of it was. You need that closure. And this is why it's so powerful. Likewise, what you'll find with any story is you can embed meanings within them. Think about when you're much younger. You often get told different stories with a moral behind them, don't you? Think about the boy who cried wolf. Now, with that story, you don't necessarily know what the meaning is. You never really get told the moral of that story, but you find out for yourself. You make it up for yourself. Does that make sense? But with your stories, what you want to do is really think about that meaning behind your stories and then use them effectively. Now, in a personal setting, you might like to think about personal success stories that you've had and, and tell them to your audiences because they'll instantly see you as being, becoming a successful person. In a business setting, it's not always appropriate to speak about yourself and personal stories. So what you might like to do is think about how you can use case studies or success stories with other clients. Now, the important thing to note is the relevant stories. For instance, if I was to be speaking to a group of small to medium-sized business owners, then I want to give them success stories that I've had with other small to medium-sized business owners. I don't want to give them success stories about I've had with huge companies. Although it might be good for my credibility and my respect, it's no good with that connection because they won't feel like, well, that's a story that's going to immediately affect me. I hope that makes sense. So make sure you think about your messages, think about what your story is, and then use it and embed it into your presentations because what you'll find is you build connections with your audience, you find you build respect with them, and also you build that rapport with them rapidly. Likewise, stories can be very, very useful to sell as well. Now, if you want to find out my different stories that I use all the time, what you might like to do is go to www.tombreeze.com. You'll probably see the link below here now. If you go there, sign up for a free account, then I'll start giving you a load of different stories that I use, the reasons behind my, my, my use of those stories as well, what the, mean, what the meanings are, and what you can take away with them as well. Now, what I want you to do now is notice that this video is going to turn interactive again. So in a second, you can find out more about becoming a great communicator, or you can go back to the main menu and find out more about confidence, communication, or persuasion. See you in a second.